Hi all you cool quilters and cross stitchers. I'm Emily and this is Boots. I'm Lindsay and this is Benny. And I'm Nettie and this is Zoe. And we've felt like we've been and torturing we're them. Primrose Cottage Quilts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is take two and I'm not redoing it so <laughs> it's been rough. Um, we hope you all have, a, have had a good week and that you're staying healthy and staying home. Um, so first off, I wanted to talk about this pattern again. Let freedom the ring. The camera is on that side. Oh, let freedom ring. It's a row by row. And I just announced the sew along on my Instagram. Um, so what I decided, God, I feel like I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay. So what I decided, um, it's going to be 10 months long. There's nine rows. So we're going to do one row a month and an extra row for like assembly and finishing. And all of the details um, are on my website and I will put a link. And there was something I wanted to talk about about this. There is some shops out there oh. that have kits. <clears throat> there are some shops that have kits. Um, I just looked at my Instagram messages. It looks like one is already sold out, but she's putting more mm -hmm. together. So all of that information is in my blog post. And then also I put together a like newsletter specifically for the sew along. So it's going to be all information for the sew along. So you can sign up there for is that in your email subscribers. It's in my blog post. Oh, so you have to go on the blog to go on the blog post, put in your email <clears throat> so you can get the monthly updates. like updates. And what I've decided is that I'm going to do like monthly is a YouTube video, not necessarily like a tutorial for the blog, but kind of go over the blog tips and tricks, tools, anything like that, that would be helpful making a certain row. So that's my plan. Um, <clears throat> the official start date isn't until May 20th. I wanted to give you plenty of time to gather your fabric and get the pattern. Um, I, the listings also post, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the listing or the blog post has listings of people that also are carrying just the patterns. <clears throat> So if you have any questions, the best place to reach me is on my Instagram, preferably. Um, and I'm going to do two more posts before the quilt along actually starts. One is going to be kind of about fabric and then also my favorite like notions that I used when I pieced my quilt together. If you want to look behind me, this is part of it. Part of it. You can't really see it very well, but... My mom was the one to test the original pattern. Um, that quilt, it may look a little different than what you see on the pattern, but that's because my mom tested my original like draft. draft. And when I made mine, I made changes and adjustments and that's what mine will look like. My rows are all done. I'm debating on whether or not to sew them together or wait because I still want to like photograph the individual rows so might be a while before mine is complete <sighs> sorry I feel like I'm out of breath and I do not I'm not sick or anything but <laughs> okay so as far as quilting goes uh we're gonna show a couple previous finishes this is a baby quilt called what's the pattern called Four square. It's one of my patterns. <laughs> We're struggling today. Hold it up for a while. Okay. Because last time I feel like we didn't hold anything up long enough. The and back. this is Riley Blake. Yeah, Riley Blake. Look at the back. It's gingham. Yeah. And gingham. it's actually a woven. So it is very light and summery. Oh which I love for baby quilts. So PDF and paper patterns are available in my shop. And guess what? I'm having a pattern sell. I think it's 40% off all my patterns except this one because this is a new release and I just 
yeah, it's a new release. And <clears throat> so this I made a couple years ago for a line from Riley Blake. I can't even remember what it's called, but I, one thing you will might notice is I never use purple. use purple. I don't like purple. She don't like purple. In fact, Emily just organized what? all of our stash. All the fabric is color coded. And how much purple is there? <laughs> there is about three different pieces. Pieces of purple. <laughs> and then a huge bin of red is her biggest and green yeah. are her two biggest. I don't know why green. I think it's a good thing to there's so many tones of greens with it and yeah. I feel like anyway okay so this is from my blossom pattern and it's just a large I had it when I photographed it it'd be good it would be I put it on my table for like a, a baby blanket yeah if it so, was different colors or, or purple that. on the back but was this an e is this a beginners? Oh, no, no. This is more advanced. This is more advanced. The one we showed before is a good Be beginner. beginner. This is more advanced. There is quarter square triangles. And if you're like most people, especially me, I do not like making quarter square triangles and trimming them. But a lot of patterns use those. So <clears throat> a lot of mine do because it's just how Style. you get a good yeah. block. So Previous finishes. So, Mom, let's start with you. What you've worn, been working on quilting wise? Okay. So, um, last week I showed you the bad girl. The bad, <laughs> the bad girl. The bad girl. She's never gonna get over that. <laughs> so, if you re if you recall, I'm working on this pattern. So, I just wanted to show you. Um, so, the steps I took was when I don't know if you this had a lot of different corners you would call waste and the one thing i did is so i i sewed where the blue line was and then i double sewed a, another line because then all that made was all this and there um and there's tons of it and so they they turn out to be like these little I would say like three inch yeah half square triangles I and can then cut them down to two and a half inch or whatever and it will could be for another project and I want to mention I actually put that oh, in so the these pattern are scrap. They don't, yeah this is all scrap yeah like it's what you cut off on the block oh. yeah you, you cut it off to where it looks like this and then when you open it up it looks like that and then let's show them the and then finish the finish block. block here's your finish block and so I've got all of those ready to go <clears throat> right here. She's been busy. And so hopefully maybe next week I'll have it all put together. I don't know. So I do want to mention in the pattern on page five, I do mention instead of discarding your remaining pieces when you trim off your flip and stitch corner, to save them and you can make a whole other quilt depending on the do, size. I do the double stitch because that way they stay together and I'm mm -hmm. not trying to, you know, it's just so much easier. Yeah, and then, she can just put that in a basket and use it. And I was she... also thinking maybe I'd piece it and, and put it in the back of the quilt because I'm a big yeah. person. Mm, I love cool. to piece my backs with the, <clears throat> the leftover fabric that I use. So, that's pretty much what I've been working on is just that this week. Yeah. That comes to me and I have done nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yes, she, well, she I have. Um, I finished my plus blocks. Um, I already packaged them. You can show my bags. They're going into Do you have the mail. Bags? No, I don't have any bags. I helped Emily make some bags, project bags. And so, I mean, I... She like she made did it. The binding. Yeah, I just do the binding <laughs> for her. There's that one. It's a cute Halloween one. Halloween. And then this was oh. This one. And I made a few for my mom. I don't think she has them in no, here. No, I didn't. I don't have them filled with projects. Um we just been busy. Lindsay does a lot of stuff on the computer yeah and why yeah. we're sewing or we're doing or or she'll set up the quilts that need to be quilted and mm -hmm. so 
So her and sewing time, get a lot of sewing time yeah. and during working hours. So mm -hmm. in between school work now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's like, well, you could show all the schoolwork you've helped yeah, with. She's like, oh, you're nothing to show. And I says, well, you could always show your schoolwork. That's funny. Which, so, yeah, it's yeah. been painful. But anyway, so. So that's all my quilting stuff. And now, then, Emily, she actually whipped something up this morning. Yeah. I picked out my fabric. It's Lori Holt's Farm Girl Vintage. I did the hen. My very first, I don't know, like. Detailed, detailed yeah. item I've ever, ever, ever um, and, sewn. <laughs> and it was fun to watch her do it because there was... Had to recut a few things. All of a sudden, I'm sitting at my <laughs> desk and she's like cursing over here. <laughs> Instead of cutting a quarter inch from her seam, she I cut, cut it on the seam. seam. <laughs> and then my foot fell off. <laughs> my bobbin ran out. Recut about five new blocks. So uh, it's Pieces. a little... It's okay. I told it's her it all happens to all of us. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. But I want to make my goal. I was looking at all Lori Holtz. I love farm. I love that t type of stuff. So I want to make a huge quilt out of that sort of stuff. So I told them I will get the next Farm Girl Vintage book. 2 book. We have. I have all of them, but that one. The new one. We, we yeah. don't have the new one yet. So, I love so, her new chicken wire fabric. I love that. Yeah, and that's coming out, I think, October. So we did, uh, last week I mentioned I ordered a bunch of fabric for my plus block I Spy quilt. <clears throat> and I did an order from fabricfetish.etsy.com. Okay, this is just what I have left of this kitty fabric because I made a bag out of it and it's so cute. Um, I got really random prints that have like stuff, on them. fun things on them that would be fun to be like, I spy a piece of sushi. This is sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cute. And it just then, all reminds me of really like Asian, like Comic-Con yeah. <laughs> Asian prints anime. Yeah. <laughs> Umbrellas. This is like garden closer. Do I want to like move we're closer? Reaching. Are we reaching? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I got to move my chair. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's not working. My chair is not moving. It's the mat. Okay. There you go. I love this piece. I don't know who this is by. I don't buy a lot of like modern novelty fabrics. Blend. There you go. Those fishies are so cute. This reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who's the nerd in the family. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, my husband. I feel like we're all very different. We That's are. Funny. My husband purchased all seasons of the Big Bang Theory. So at night while oh, we yeah. cross stitch, we've been watching Big Bang Theory. <laughs> what did I say this morning? Well, I was like, well, my OCD, like, I'm definitely OCD. Yeah. I, I it's have been, been kicking in. She's organized everything. <laughs> if like, you follow Primrose Cottage Quilts, you will, you've seen. Yeah. <laughs> Those are just fun. And then this one is from Chapel Hill Quilting on Etsy. I don't really want to show it. It has my address on it. So, sorry. She didn't have a card. Um, I love that. That's the blue I had for my bag. This is all Allison glass. And these are when I'm making my blocks. My yeah. plus blocks. Which I did. I did quilt some more of those. I just didn't show any. Maybe you'll get that done. You can show it next week. Yeah. Yeah. I want it to be a big quote though. So I, I want mine to be I big. I have a ways to go. I want mine to be big. Okay, and then this is like the focal a focal print. This is a great I spy print. There's yeah. so many motifs in there. And then in the pink colorway. And then some strawberries. I love strawberry fabric. The 
this is the last one. So that was our fabric haul for the week. Um, okay. Did you gather any of our yeah, modern, modern hauls? I, I thought I showed them all last week. Did we get any more? I couldn't remember if we, I know we've been buying patterns, <laughs> but I didn't bring any to show. So, uh, let's start with our, our, okay. So cross stitch. I've progress. got this one here that I'm working on. So it's our whips. We're doing whips first. Yeah. Whip so, it real good. There's, there's that one. I love the. And that's. Is that done? June. No. Oh. Not quite. <coughs> I still got a little I'm bit. still working on mine. And then I've actually worked on my Halloween one a little more. <coughs> I got, I've got that. Not too close. Like I've got right a, there. a cake. Good. I'm almost done with the cake. It's cute. So that one. And then I started a new one last night. And uh, this I'm is Lori Holt Vintage Christmas Sampler. And I'm doing it just a little, she she did the little blocks and outlined them in white. And I didn't like how, I didn't feel like it stood out. And so I'm going to outline my blocks in red. Yep. So. You can see the bottom she started. I did. Slash I started yeah. something and I could not work with this fabric for some reason. I don't, I agree. It was, I, don't like I could it. not. It's really small. See the holes. It's not even that. It's yeah. wimpy. Like it's oh, sloppy. Sorry. I don't like it. Slappy. And then <laughs> this is my other one. It's a Christmas one. Hang on. I'm... Let's show the pattern first. Okay. Frosty Days by Cherry Hill. Right? Cherry Hill Stitchery. Stitchery. This one's been fun. That's cute. <clears throat> it's been working up pretty fast. I just got to fill the truck in and finish the letters and stuff. Hope I'm giving enough time to see. And then I started this one last mm -hmm. week. Happy Looks Camper. Because that was one of our new ones that we showed Flamingo last week. Flamingo Toes. So. <clears throat> she is a fellow quilter and I love her stuff. I love her fabric. She designs fabric. So I'm actually using three threads on this. I wanted to see what it would do and like if it would stand out really good and all that so i need to look at that so i'm doing i don't <coughs> i feel like threads. i can't get my needle in the hole when i do more than two yeah i've i've done a lot of threes and i just switched to two because i didn't know and but it does give it a better coverage i don't yeah. like doing three i'd huh. rather do two i like that well especially well if you're using that smaller eight o'clock it's definitely two, two. but this is a 14 count yeah. white no one told me 14 <laughs> is my favorite time <laughs> Well, we just assume you knew it all. <laughs> we just assume I know things, and then I get something done, and they're like, "Why what did you do that?" that? <laughs> and then I did have one finish this this time. Oh, oh. and so I recharted the alphabet, and this is what we came up with. And it's going to look backwards up, on your end, up a little, right there. So it's, it says Primrose Cottage Quilts, and we kind of followed. Um, Priscilla. Priscilla with the colors and then the, the quilts. I did the two that are the same on the end and such. And so now we just have to frame it so we can put it in our studio. So we got a lot of framing to do. We need to get on that. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had time. To Mom do has anything. all these finishes and I, I haven't I mean, framed I'm anyway. not a framer. I told the girls that they have to put mine. Yeah, she's like, you guys do your, you guys do mine. I'm well, like, they do such no. a good job <laughs> and everything. And I'm just like, okay, you can do mine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I guess we're doing whips first this time. Yeah. I started a new Halloween project. The Halloween calendar by Tiny Modernist. Emily is doing this pattern too. Yeah, we. But she I hasn't started it. her. We She's just kidding. It. It. And this uh -huh. is what I have so far. Looking good. Nice. My goal. <clears throat> so we figured if we did, it's almost one square a week until Halloween. You have to do like two, like maybe three or four of the weeks, if I want to get it done 
September 30. 31st. 30th? 31st? I don't know. 30th. <laughs> September's 30. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be done soon, but I just kind of... I got all the words done. Trick or treat. So down here, there's like a boot. And I started stitching it and I didn't like it. You can kind of see its silhouette. You gotta like lint roll that out. I know. So I am gonna put something else there. I just haven't decided what. <clears throat> so that is my trick or treat. And then I did start my May cottage of the month because May is just around the corner. And I worked on this last night. And I also tried pinking my edges and I don't like it. They stab me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually gonna probably cut that off. I'm like, I wonder if I pink the edges. We're both like, no. <laughs> it does, it's, cause this is really like a stiffer fabric and it, it's not comfortable in my hand, so. She, she don't deal with pain very easily. I don't deal with. Pain at Weird all. sensation. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I did get a finish done. Not a fully finished. I keep stretching this out because I feel like the eight o cloth is crooked and it's bugging me. But here's my spring. Aww, that's so cute. And it turned out adorable. So the original pattern has like <clears throat> a bunch of words going down, but I decided I'm just gonna do the houses with the banner. So I just want to frame that up. That is really cute. I love how bright it is. Those are my colors. Yeah. I decided, I've noticed a lot of cross stitchers don't cross stitch on white. I like it. I like the crispness of it. So yeah. I did, I have an FFO, a fully finished object. <laughs> so what I did, sorry. No. We have a visitor asking no. us something. Okay, so what I did, this frame is from Joanne's and downstairs, please. Sorry, <laughs> we have a visitor. And then the wood part in the back comes out. And so all I did was put a piece of gingham and then I mounted my piece on chipboard. And that's it. I liked it kind of just plain. I didn't want to like overdo it. It's really cute. So I have this sitting in my entryway and it's really cute. I love it. That's it for me. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like you're kind of being cut off here. <clears throat> Since okay. we moved forward. I'm working on <clears throat> Cherry Hill Stitchery. Oh, that's the chart. You're not supposed to oh. show the chart. Oh man, don't look at that. <laughs> Are we okay? Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna go to jail? <laughs> Cross stitch your cell. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm working on my cow. This has turned out bigger than we thought, but I don't know what this is. Looks like That's 14 head. count oh. Ada. <laughs> <laughs> I think I shut it upside down. I don't even. Okay. I shut it upside down. You guys like this? It's I gotta need good. to go to the liquor store after that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. That was been fun. I wanted to actually stitch that up, but after seeing how big it was, because I wanted to stitch it for somebody that I know would really like that. It's too big. I don't like how big it is. Yeah. On fourteen count, like if I were to do like, you know, something smaller. I think I'm just not that talented. I definitely want to get Lori Holt's chicken scratch. What is it? Chicken, chicken wire. Chicken wire. She has a chicken I, wire line coming out in October. I don't know. I just like it. This is um, Tiny Modernist Home Stitch Home Free. Um, I picked my own colors. I want to stitch this. 
It's coming up really quick. Don't look closely. It's missing a lot of things. I was uh, <laughs> last night when she was stitching. She was like, like, I'm like, I'm missing. Like, I am missing, missing there. some things in here. <laughs> I think I was. Mom was like, were you drinking that night? And I'm like, probably. She, <laughs> she had a little bit of too many glasses of wine. <laughs> so that's my Whatever own. keeps us sane. <laughs> um, I kitted this with Lindsay, so I haven't started. I I told her, I said, are we going to have like a schedule? And she said she didn't want to do that. So. And then I bought this this she morning. She don't keep the schedule. No. Me or her? Her. Both Me? of you. I'm not <laughs> I, I really don't keep a schedule. I'm really horrible at it. I bought this this morning. Um, I full saw happy this. camper, and I had to get it because I I kayak a lot. I haven't recently because of winter, but last summer I I went one week every day. It was so fun. One day every week. One day every week. <laughs> one week every. We week. also one have week a every we day. have a kayak <laughs> and whoops. I love kayaking. We so. have a lot of places to recreate here. We're in southern Utah. So hopefully when we all get out of quarantine, we can yeah. and I'm go from, enjoy those things. I'm from Heber, which is northern Utah, and there is literally a lake 20 minutes every direction. Mm -hmm. Amazing lakes. And so last, I was living up there and I went a lot. So anything camping, kayaking, I love. And this is my only finish and it's on the cloth I didn't like. My happy Easter. And just in time for Easter on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I got. So yesterday we decided we wanted to try dyeing our own fabric. It was quite interesting. Do you want to show this haul first? Or? Oh, um, I did order some. It's like peach. I know. It's, it's called porcelain. This is from Luminous Fiber Arts on Etsy. So I got some fat quarters of hand dyed fabric. This is like, it's called porcelain, I think, but it's kind of like peachy, peachy. you know, I don't like know what, peach. I don't know what I would stitch on that, but <clears throat> are you going to show it? I did. did oh, I, did I show it? I don't think you did, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it Friday? <sighs> I always say that, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. The weekend doesn't mean anything. No. I don't mean. I kept, I didn't even know what day it was yesterday. I kept thinking it was Thursday. Okay. This is, sorry, Dapple, and this is a 14 count Ada Zwiegart, Zygart, I don't know. I'm murdering that name. I love the modeling on this. I got two of those. Great for Halloween, I think. And then I also got this blue. This is, this one is a 16 count and it's called Whisper. So just like a really soft blue, this would be a great thing for what? Christmas. Christmas? Christmas Easter. Day. Okay, so we bought four different dyes. We took notes because we wanted to remember what we liked and what we didn't like. We bought four different dyes, uh, taupe, chocolate brown, light evening blue, and denim. So I'll show you what they look like. This is light evening blue. We decided we liked that one. We did bleed from the Sitting other one. next to each other on the pan. So we did notice the light evening blue. The first one we did I did way too much dye. It was super, super dark. Concentrated. Like. Yeah. We put in our notes, little goes a long way. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so we did this. I don't like this And at we all. drizzled it, it like with a the, the darker. Dark so we dipped it with the evening bliss and we put a darker evening blue. Evening blue. Bliss. It's not so, evening bliss. It's evening blue. <laughs> is it? Are I don't you know. Sure? I don't know. We didn't like that. It looks like something the, really like, bad went wrong. Like, it, looks like, it looks like grandpa's uh, oil rag. <laughs> oh, it kind of does. So what I noticed, the denim, we, uh, didn't, we didn't even yes. use the denim. It has a very purple undertone, and I do not like purple. So just so you know, if you're buying the denim, 
it has a very purple under we didn't even to it. dare use it because it was so purpley i don't even know what you would stitch on this like what would you stitch on this it looks i'm gonna find she'll something. find something it but... looks like really does look like a dirty all the oil rag um like <laughs> i said before for i don't know if it's like i like really crisp looking i like the white i like the color against the white and i don't know if that's the quilter in me because that's how I do all my quilts with like a white background so the colors pop mm -hmm. whereas a lot of I noticed cross stitchers use really primitive looking fabric which you know if you ha like that style mm -hmm. that's totally fine so this one was uh we taupe first did the chocolate. taupe and then we dipped we over dyed it with chocolate and the chocolate brown also has a purple undertone. I will not be using that one again. Uh, we, but we did test, we mixed. It looks really good on the phone. Does it? <laughs> but in person, it does. It what has... it reminds me of is an old map. Like a crinkle up old yeah. map. That's so, it... you know, I, I think this would actually look really awesome with like a Halloween something stitch on it. Cause... Or just some vintage maybe. Yeah. I don't know um that's the other one. Oh, this it's is the other the lighter one. version we this did. is the lighter version see it looks it, it doesn't looks, look as purple on the camera, on the camera but, but it, it is very purple in person looking. it looks purple to me not mm -hmm. chocolatey so, so if you guys have like a recommendation for a more brown deep, brown with not a purple undertone because browns have a lot of different undertones okay so next is the taupe we just did taupe a taupe. taupe. We did taupe on taupe. The first one we did a lighter, so not as much dye. And then we over dyed it with a darker. And so, and then we took this one. We did the darker. We did the darker taupe. And made it And darker. then over dyed it with even darker, more saturated. And those turned out good. Yeah. I think those ones are my favorite. I'm, um, I want to try the coffee and tea though. I think that's when you don't get the purple undertones. Yeah. I do want to try the coffee and tea. The only reason we didn't is because when we were watching one of the YouTube tutorials, she said coffee is really acidic. And so I'm like, well, that can't be good for your fabric. But then I was like, these aren't going to be like heirlooms that are on. What's that? Antique Roadshow. Antique Roadshow road <laughs> in 50 years. <laughs> 150 years. They're going to be like, oh, they missed a stitch. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to share, this was some, like, quilty friend, uh, my friend, she sent me these, they're unicorn embroidery scissors, totally made my day, so, um, oh, the giveaway winner for last week, which we gave, we were giving away the Simply Spring kit is Erin J. Cauldron, so I will put my email below, so email me your information, and then the giveaway this week, we're giving away a paper pattern of Let Freedom Ring. So answer the question, where are you from? That's good. Sounds where good. are you from? Leave us a comment, like our video, and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> we're going to, like I said, I'm going to try and be really good about doing more videos like with quilt blocks and so anyway do we have anything else to say what's coming um, up next week we have free pattern oh free friday. pattern fridays tomorrow yes subscribe to our newsletter Ooh. um you will get the pattern in your inbox first thing in the morning and it's a really pretty one we do have just a handful of kits left yeah not not too many i'm pretty sure they will be sold and out and we morning. also have a handful of the cottage boxes left yeah. yes and not too many of those but um yeah go to the etsy shop we've got mm -hmm. a few other kits and fun things in there that uh that are up for sale so um we did get some new really cute fabric in for a project we will be posting next month um it has cute rain boots and umbrellas and it's perfect for spring so um, I don't think there anything else 
I think we're, we're just working on staying sane, honestly, at this point, and <clears throat> watching lots of movies. Yeah, yes, trolls we've been... tomorrow. Oh yes, we're having. And a... We're gonna go get popcorn from Megaplex because yes. they're giving out pop. Well, not giving. Giving. But you can go get popcorn curbside, and we bought dollar store popcorn, popcorn bins containers. for the kids. We're, I'm excited. And we we're gonna the box like... candy like we're at the movie theater. Like we're at the movie. So we're gonna. Have a fun movie theater experience tomorrow. <laughs> it's Easter, so we're making what are they called? The little oh graham cracker instead of dying eggs because we didn't want to waste eggs because nobody in my family likes hard boiled eggs, so they go to waste. And I just felt like that was not you know a good thing to do this year. And so instead, I bought all this stuff to make like a little peep house. Uh, they make them out of graham crackers and candy, and so... Did you get the grass? Well, I thought we'd make grass with coconut. Oh, yeah. We're coconut. gonna make grass with coconut. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. And so, we haven't told them what that's what we're doing, but that's what we're doing so, Saturday. We kind of think of something every week. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're gonna do something special, and it's usually on Friday or Saturday. Yeah. So, they have something to look forward to, and it's kind of like bribery, so they'll do their schoolwork and be good. Yeah, well... So anyway, we will see you guys next week and we hope you have a fabulous Easter and stay healthy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>